last night I was making a video about using a radius server to connect your networking devices like your routers and your switches uh, with an actual windows server 2019 and turns out that I spent hours and hours uh, trying to figure out why it didn't work ended up being that my temp license for the server was completely out uh, so that's the reason why I was not working so many hours of troubleshooting for no reason um, so I did some research and found out another way that I could practice setting up a AAA server so that I can use my networking devices with the same credentials on all the devices rather than having to do each device individually. And I bumped into a specific Tagax, Tagax GUI, which is for JNS3. It works great, right? So you install it on your JNS3 and then you can use your GUI to enter all your, all your devices and credentials in, in one location. All right, so we begin uh, turning on all of our devices so that we can console in. That is router one, router two, and also the GUI has a console. And then in order to set up the uh, the reachability, we'll have to set up uh, the basic uh, DHCP on both interfaces so they can connect to my computer. Do the same on the other router. Okay, we just received one IP address from my actual home lab or my uh, <laughs> my house's uh, Wi-Fi router. Okay, that's for those two. And let's look at uh, TACAX. Okay, it also receives an IP address. And let's see if we can ping it. Good there. Good there. So both routers are able to ping all the way back to the GUI. Let's see the IP address picked up 251. Excellent. Put the credentials in. All right, this is what the actual TACAX GUI looks like. And uh, let's start with the configuration on this side. For devices, let's say I wanna add, I wanna add groups first, add a group. Networking devices, we'll give it a key. We'll make that to the default group. Now we have some devices. This was a little odd. It's a slide bar to get the subnet, but it worked. Super simple password. So we got router one, router two, same group. And then now we have some uh, users here. There is a user already, but I don't want to use that. I want to use my own user. <clears throat> Cisco because the group is called the same way. It will give you an error if you don't correct that. All right, everything seems okay. Services is running. On check backup. Apply and test. It seems to be okay. Now we have to configure the side on the router. Start with R1. So we have the actual TACAC server and the IP address. And the key that we included in there, it was Cisco. We have some more authentication and it's uh, say another group. It's not uh, defined. We'll take care of that in a second. So now the group is in there. Cool. And it seems like that's going to work. Uh, let's 
Back it up all the way. Excellent. So it did work already. Um, if you don't want to take the chance to do that, there's also another way to test it out. It's a uh, test. I don't want to say tack X. Tack X. There it is right there. And then you put your Cisco, your uh, username and password. Cisco, Cisco in my case. And I just put legacy. And that says it's successful. So let's now let's go take a look at the other side. Okay. All right, so now let's test this one before I remove my access from here. I can see. And that's successful. So now let's check it out one more time. We're presented with Cisco. There we go. All right, so I'm curious to see how the capture will look like. my computer first okay we see some CMP messages we see some tack act activity already awesome you can definitely see it right here on the authentication so that's from 251 here's a conversation for the authentication and accounting very very cool well i hope you like that 